Do you know the London Trocadero? Back in the day, it was a palace of arcade games, cinemas and fast food, a teenager's heaven. The entertainment center closed down in 2014, and London was worse for it. But the building will live to see another day. The former site of the Troc has been bought by a property developer, referred to as the meanest landlord during the pandemic, and is being turned into a three-story house of prayer and Islamic center. Malawian origin, UK-based business and property tycoon, Asif Aziz, has got rights to build a masjid in a prestigious property, a move welcomed by the Muslims of London, who for the longest time have sought a place of worship for themselves in central London. The mosque will serve Muslims who work in the area, as well as those visiting London as tourists. Muslims have struggled to find prayer facilities in the heart of the capital, with nearby mosques filled to capacity. Asif Aziz plans to transform the former cinema inside the Trocadero, between Piccadilly Circus and Soho, into a prayer and community facility to be called the Piccadilly Community Center. The mosque has continuously played an active role in the guidance of the Muslim community, teaching both the young and older generations, as well as producing a venue for Muslims to meet one another on religious occasions. But the mosque has much more potential than this, and we need to utilize it fully, so that many more areas of the lives of Muslims may benefit from it. A mosque in a pivotal area of London will be a means of attracting people from other faiths to visit and do more research into the religion of Islam. As we all know, we have experienced the aura in a masjid is incomparable. The peace and serenity that one feels within the walls of a masjid leads to a state of peace and mind and calmness. Sometimes, in the midst of our work, in the midst of our errands, we require a safe space to get our tired mind and body some rest. The masjid is a safe haven, and it being located in central London will give community members a convenient spot to rest and offer their prayers in a clean and pure environment. Mosques are the places the angels frequent most, where peace and tranquility descend upon those who are sitting there reciting and studying the Qur'an. Mosques are also the most suitable places for offering the prayer. They are aloof from the hustle and bustle of the streets, workplaces or markets. At the mosque, a sense of sanctity and reverence replaces the worry and trouble of daily life. If the mind is troubled outside the mosque, it is at peace inside, for it is in communication with the ultimate source of comfort and spiritual joy. In British society, the mosque is three distinct spaces rolled into one. Firstly, and most importantly, a place of worship where devotees can practice and develop their spirituality. Second, it is a center of learning for the young and old. Thirdly, it is a public place for meeting, social intercourse, bringing people together, and sustaining integrated recreational activities, place of funeral, marriage, and festivals. The mosque is the operational base for community building. It is where Muslims can cooperate and support young and old people to build healthier and multi-faith society. It is required for all men to attend mosque on Friday for Jummah. The sermons often have a strong practical slant, trying to integrate and apply Islamic beliefs and historical teachings into contemporary daily life. Sermons are significant in bringing the community together as the congregation is standing side by side in a line, facing Mecca, together, all united in their faith and worship of Allah. Mosques are study centers for newcomers of the faith to come and learn about the Islamic faith, about the teachings of the Holy Quran, learn how to read it and pronounce. These often take place on weekends or in the evenings. Nearly all mosques provide libraries, which offer a variety of books on Islam, which will expand knowledge on Islamic teachings. New Muslims seek safe spaces for their quest, and mosques provide these environments. The reality that many new Muslims face is rejection from family and friends, 
and in worst case scenarios have no place to turn to. In these unfortunate circumstances, the mosque provides shelter and connections to the larger Muslim community. These new Muslims are thereafter welcomed and offered support in various ways and means such as financial, material, job opportunities, and most importantly, a sense of belonging in the great Muslim community. If not for a mosque, where would these new Muslims go? Since the mosque is the core of the community, these converts can confidently walk in and get their questions and problems resolved and become permanent members of that community. <laughs> As Islam gains traction in the West and more youth are turning to Islam due to dissatisfaction with their lives, amongst other reasons. Alhamdulillah. Welcome to the Deen, brother. Allah yeah. Mosques play a pivotal role in encouraging these youth to freely walk in, talk to the members of the Muslim community, learn about Islam, observe how Muslims deal with each other and turn to Islam. Muslims have struggled to find prayer facilities in the heart of the capital, with nearby mosques filled to capacity. Asif Aziz plans to transform the former cinema inside the Trocadero, between Piccadilly Circus and Soho, into a prayer and community facility to be called the Piccadilly Community Center. Westminster City Council has granted permission to create a three-story community facility with a prayer capacity of 390 worshippers. Situated in vacant space in the basement of the Trocadero, the center will provide an indispensable place for the Muslims who work, visit, and live in the area and for whom prayer forms a cornerstone of their life. While the center will provide an area for prayer, it is also anticipated that this development will nurture much-needed interfaith dialogue and in turn bring faith communities and community groups together, utilizing available space. British Muslims are an integral part of the fabric of society and contribute in the most essential and remarkable ways. And this mosque in the center of London will leave a stamp of their presence in a most iconic part of one of the greatest cities of the world.